Welcome, 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 everybody. Today we will be doing a versus video of the Swiss Tool, Swiss, this Victorinox Swiss Tool X against a Leatherman Free P2. Now, I know I could have gone P4. I could not get my hands on a P4, so I will use the Free P2 and make the appropriate considerations as if this was the Free P4. Let's get into it. First off, overall size. Um, Lengthwise, Victorinox is just a shy bit longer, in my opinion, just a shy bit. Plier heads are very similar. There's a bunch of differences, but very similar bulk, you know, curvature. Now, Victorinox, I like them being a little bit snubbier pliers. Leatherman has a little bit more dedicated needle nose, getting into really tight spot pliers if the camera decides to focus focus you can kind of see there um come on camera come on well you get you can see the idea there very close Victorinox just a little bit bulkier at the tip, which makes me feel a little bit more secure when I'm going and really clamping down on stuff. The plier parts, the normal pliers, very similar. Victorinox is just a little bit op more open than the Free Series, a little bit bigger hole there. The Leatherman has replaceable wire cutters, the Victorinox does not. On top of that, there is more cutting area on the Leatherman wire cutters than on the Victorinox. So there's that. Both kind of have a crimper, so to speak, at the bottom. This one is very noticeable, very dedicated on the Leatherman for crimping. The Victorinox, you can crimp, but it doesn't look like it, but it can. So, with the pliers out of the way, we can close up the tools. Because both tools, all the smaller tools, are outside accessible. Now the Free P4, unlike the Victorinox, you can open from the outside. As you can see on the Victorinox here, I'm pushing down on the outside. I cannot open the tools. Everything on the Victorinox is two-handed. Everything on the Free series is one-handed. I push down on the bits. The bits fly out. I select what I want, and I have what I want. Now, Free P2. It comes with combo knife and scissors. The Free P4, however, to my knowledge, has plain edge, serrated edge, and saw. So imagine a serrated blade and a saw in addition to everything else on this tool. And if the lock will agree with me, thank you. I just got this earlier today, still lear learning how to fidget with it. Let's can start with the main knife blade. And again, I am considering this as the P4 with the appropriate tools. Knife blade to knife blade. Sharpen edge, pretty much the same. And remember, this would be a plain edge. So, very similar. Um, to me, it looks like the Leatherman and the Victorinox are the same thickness. If there is a difference, it is very minute in how thick the blade is. That done. Let's move on to the other main large tool. Scissors. Scissors are very close. Victorinoxes have a little bit more sharpened edge per blade. As you can see, Victorinox have a little uh, separate spring kind of that you can pop into the tang there, whereas the Leatherman is a leverage bar, much like the old Vinger style Swiss Army knives. Folds in. I do not like, the one thing that just gets my OCD going I, that I hate about this tool is the length of the scissors. If you watch my previous video on where I review this tool, you'll see me complain about the length of the scissors. If the camera will focus, you can see I've got almost a full half inch past the tip of the scissors before they cannot be any longer. 
which just bugs the ever living daylights out of me. They could have made these scissors as long as the Victorinox scissors, make them about yay long, and would have had so much more usable length. Keep this the same size. This is fine. But make this a little bit longer. And it would have been so wonderful. This is just like, why? And if you watch my previous video, you'll see that um, the outside scissors of the free are the same size scissors as what is inside the Leatherman Wave, the Leatherman Curl, and maybe a few others. Look at this. These are skinnier, which makes them look smaller, but overall length of the actual scissor blade is the same. Like, come on. If they're going to go to that extent, swap this out for a full-size file and put the small scissors on the inside of the tool. Come on. I hate this about Leatherman. They get so close, and yet fall so far. Excuse me. Food in my teeth. Now the other two main tools on this, we have a file, and we have a full-on saw. On the Free Series, we would have had a serrated blade and a saw. So, the saw, or the file, I think helps the Victorinox trump this a little bit. If you're big on files, go with this. You've got a bigger file, because the file on this guy when I dig it out, is this big. If you're just keeping your nails trimmed, that is wonderful. But if you're doing a little bit more crafting and stuff, or you need a file to file some stuff down, go Victorinox. So, I will say serrated blade it cannot be really judged between the two, because that is the one thing different between the P4 and the Swiss tool. The saw. The saw would be about the same size as what was on the P4. The saw, um, I think, is better on the Victorinox. I think Victorinox just makes better saws than Leatherman. It takes fewer passes to get through stuff. The teeth are usually a little bit better. Not that these are bad. The saws that Leatherman gives you are fantastic. They are good. But the Swiss engineering, I think, trumps it just a bit. So that is the main outside tools. Let's get into the inside bits. And every tool on this has a dedicated finger choil or finger notch for digging the tool out. With this, you do not have that. You have to push down, fan out, and separate. Just so you know. <clears throat> Technically, you can pull, the scissors, pull this out without pulling the file out, but my fingernails are soft, and so I find it easier to pull either the scissors or the file out so I can get better access to this. This is more a me thing than a tool thing. We have an awl and small flathead on this side. Now let's find the appropriate accoutrement of that. We have a Phillips. We have several flatheads here. For what we see on the Victorinox, let us go with this. So it's a little different setup, but we have an awl. Very good awl, I will say. On par with this. I don't know which one is better just yet. I, I'm leaning towards this. I'm a Victorinox fanboy for a reason. Not just because it's Swiss engineering, not because it's, you know unique but because it's good and very good we have a very small flathead we have a very small flathead at the tip of the file and we have a full-on phillips this phillips incorporates a cap lifter unlike this one but this one does have cap lifter and can opener we'll get to those so we do have similar tools there we have all and we have small flathead Going on to container openers, if you will. Um, do, 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 do. Can opener and cap lifter. Okay. 
same tools on this. Different layout. Wire stripper is on the ruler part of this guy. Just so you know. Take the ruler out. And this little notch here is your wire stripper that is on here. We have can openers. This is Leatherman's first idea at doing this, to my knowledge. Because in a lot of their other tools, they have gone with this design for their can openers. Kind of a draw cutter. This is a push cutter. This is what Leatherman usually does. This is what they have done for the free series. So we have the same tools there. This does not incorporate a flathead. So, driver's out. We have a big flathead on the tip of this. And that would be this guy here. Big flathead, big flathead. For changing like your light socket switches and stuff. Same tool. Up next we have a chisel. Very nice tool. This is where this trumps out a bit. I use chisels in these things a lot. I know these are wire strippers, but I'm not an electrician. I use these for like wood crafting and stuff where I'm shaving the bark of a branch off or something. Um, the chisel on this, so to speak, I think I'm going to... It doesn't have a chisel, first off. But I think I'm going to take this file here and take the small flathead on this and grind that down to be my chisel. Just saying. Um, the P4 has kind of a chisel slash scraping tip at the end of the serrated blade. So there's that. Next up on this, we have a crate lifter, which is a big, thick old pry bar. This does not really have a thick old pry bar. The thickest thing on this is this guy here. But it, it's, it's definitely not as beefy. Focus. It's not as beefy. I wish my camera would focus more when I want. I mean, it's, it's thick, but it narrows down to that tip and things where, there, where this stays straighter out more. I don't know. I, I like this better. And I've used this a lot. I've carried this for six months. I just got this today. I know this will be useful, but is it as useful as this? I don't think so. Now, if you're just wanting like a few little tools and you don't care, you know, exactly how great they are, this is great. They're all one hand opening. This is two hands. So if you're busy doing a lot of stuff where you need one hand, knife blades to open packages, I can see where the P4 would come out on top for you. Um, pommel of sorts at the tip. I wouldn't go whaling with it, but, you know, hammering really good. Not hunting whales, but, you know, just bam 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 on something i wouldn't really do that um you know side by side I, i'm trying to look through the camera and i'm trying to look where i am real life so sorry if stuff gets a little off center here this comes to the pocket clip now one thing i will say is victorinox has just released new versions of this in the smaller swiss tools where they have one hand knife blades and pocket clips that you can add so, right, that right there puts this, if you get that version of the Swiss tool, I think that absolutely, without a doubt, trumps the P4. P4, you have a pocket clip, pocket clip and one hand opening knife blade. One hand opening serrated blade, if you have the serrated blade, just do that with your finger out and it's open. This, if you get the new versions, it will have a one handed knife blade and a pocket clip that you can put on this side or on this side so that when you pull it out of your pocket you know which end has the tool that you want the most. So at the end of the day, which is better? The Victorinox Swiss tool or the Leatherman Free P2 slash P4? Personally, I am leaning towards this. The larger scissors just the smooth clickety clackety design how everything just feels so good opening and closing it's just such satisfying 
clicks. Try not to get satisfied videos. You ought to get some Victorinox products because this stuff is absolutely wonderful to open, close, the little plicks, ticks, and clicks. Absolutely wonderful. The free P4, it's American ingenuity, but it's not Swiss engineering. Ingenuity versus engineering. This is very ingenious how we have set these things up. But does it match Swiss engineering for how precise, how smooth, how elegant this tool could be? No. We have a ways to go, especially when you let an oversight such as the length of the scissors inside the tang. That is atrocious. I am sorry, Leatherman. Not sorry, but that sucks. You should have made that scissor blade longer. I don't know how you let that slip out past R&D, but that sucks. The magnets, in case you haven't seen my previous video, are these dark pieces here. Those are the neodymium magnets. The magnetism sticks out into the handle a little bit so that when you go to close the tool, the plier head grabs on that little ramp and sticks to that ramp quite nicely. And then the magnets are opposing poles, which doubles the strength and closes it. The breaking and opening is a little bit, the opening of the tool like such, is definitely easier on the free than on this. This has a smooth, refined track system. This, you know, once you pop it, it's just swinging all over the place, which is great. I love the fidgety ballast song feature. But it pops open with a little less force because it's magnets. And then you open it. There's no magnets to keep the pliers open. It just kind of pop, pop like that. Not exactly how sure that is going to be, but it takes a good chunk of force to break that on par with most other multi-tools on how much that takes to break. If anything, maybe just a little bit more resistance than the Swiss tool. Swiss tool is not weak. That is very solid. You will enjoy it. This just has a little bit more eh to it, if you get what I mean. Very nice. So, free P2 slash P4 versus Victorinox. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you found something in here useful. And if there's if you have questions, comment down below. I'll try to answer them. Or when I do a live stream, you know, pop on in and I'll try to answer some stuff. Thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye bye.